hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel in this video i am trying to solve the problem uh, with changing the date and time so a lot of comments i have seen in my one of my video that uh, they are unable to change the time and date so first of all i am trying to change the date on my computer by going to command prompt and when i type date and give the new date here you can see that uh, an error is coming like a required privilege is not held by the client the same case is um, the same error is showing when I am trying to change the time as well so I have a problem with my computer for changing time so first of all we need to make sure that we have admin privilege because we are going to change something uh, and just for the verification you can do one thing you can right click uh, you can search for CMD and right click on it and run as administrator and try to change the date and time again in case if you don't have um, uh, in case changing the date and time uh, requires elevation like admin so right now I even after running the command in um, admin privilege I was not able to change the date and time so I'm gonna fix that problem I'm gonna uh, troubleshooting the problem uh, first of all we need to go to control panel and make sure it's large icon click on administrative tools and in administrative tools double click on the local security policy after you open the local security policy um, click on the local policies and under local policy user rights assignment double click on it and you can see the change time zone and the change system time option is there so right now you can see only local service is there so we need to add the user your user account there add user and type the username check name and add it and similarly in time zone also add user write the name of the user apply okay so this user should be able to change the date and time and even the time zone as well so we'll check again we'll go here this time we are using the GUI or graphical user interface for changing and I'm um, trying to change it so for example I'm gonna make it 10 if I plus change nothing is happening which means still I am not able to change let's for verification um, let's go to the command prompt and run as administrator directly click on uh, search for date and put the new date here so still it's telling that a required privilege is not held by the client so we are going to the second step open control panel again and go to the administrative tools again click on the administrative tools make sure you have large icon so that you will see the administrative tools in the control panel and this time we are going to the services click on double click on the services so a new window will open you need to wait for a bit because it's uh, taking a little bit time depending on your computer so search for the windows time you can see that it's disabled and um, right click on this one and click on properties in logon section make sure that this account is there local service and password is already there nothing has to be changed here just to make sure that this account is selected already and one more thing that we need to do I right click on this one uh, windows time again or double click and automatic make it to startup automatic and apply ok close this one and try rebooting your computer because to come this into effect you need to reboot the computer so the video will stop here our computer is back after rebooting so let's try to change the date and time again first of all right click on the time and uh, click on adjust date and time and let's try to change the date or time let's make it 10 and change so you can see that from 11 it is changed to 10 so it's working we are able to change the time now let's try to change the time zone as well because we should be able to change the time zone because already we have given the permission to change the time zone 
So you can see that time zone is changed. AM is converted to PM and right now I'm in Abu Dhabi. But the time is not 10.35, it's 11.35. Uh, but it's not reflecting because we manually change the time. So I'm trying to set the time automatically. If I am enabling set time automatically, it will try to sync to time.windows.com. It will take some time. And now you can see that its time is updated, correct, 11.36. This is the exact time right now. So, and also, as I shown in the beginning of video, we should be able to change the date and time in command prompt as well. For example, 11.28.2020, it's working and it's already, you can see that date is changed. Now let's put the correct date again. So, uh, it's working guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe the channel, click the bell icon for notification. Take care. Goodbye.